Heavy flood as reptile invades homes in Anambra community. Dangerous reptiles have begun to creep into some residential houses in Ogbaro local government area of Anambra as a result of flood. Mr. Arenze Awogu, transition chairman of Ogbaro council area, who disclosed this on Sunday said some displaced people we are already moving into the holding camps prepared for them. Awogu said the level of the river Niger had continued to rise, making streets and flood channels that emptied into the river to flow backwards. He said no fewer than 1,000 persons have been forced out of their homes. Ogbaru is a coastal local government with all its 16 communities on the banks of River Niger. He reported that a big cobra, which found its way into an apartment in Atani, was killed with the assistance of operatives from the Atani Divisional Police Station. According to him, the cobra was killed in Atani. The man in whose house it was killed miraculously escaped being beaten by the snake the previous night as he went into his boy's quarters in search of some documents. On sighting the snake, he quickly shut the door and invited the police from Atani Police Division who targeted the room and the reptile became uncomfortable but as it made its way out. It was killed by those around, he said. Awogu advised people of the area to always shut their doors at all times and spread repellent to ward off the unwanted guests as most of them had been displaced from their natural habitats. Snakes and other dangerous reptiles are being driven out of their habitats by the flood and people's home as are likely to be where the deadly animals may be seeking refuge, he said. The council chairman said more people were being displaced from their homes by the flood and that they had started moving into the three holding camps and the cancer. He regretted that flood had become a yearly experience for the people and assured them of care while in the camps. People are leaving their homes and heading to the holding centers created by the Anambra government for people in flood prone local government area. The task now is to ensure they have the necessities of existence like food, health care and other facilities while waiting for the flood to recede. In addition to what the state government is doing, we are calling on the federal government through NEMA to come to our aid, he said. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, um, this issue of flood is something that's and uh, the, the the state government really need to look into. In fact, the moment the assume office, the first thing they need to pay attention to is the residents of their citizens of the of the of the indigents of that state to know the level at which they are comfortable to know the comfortability of the indigents because these are the people that voted them in and they voted them in for a purpose so having assumed office you need to first of all check on the comfortability of your of, of the indigents of the people 
to know if they are okay where they are, to know if they are comfortable because you as a governor, you will be very much comfortable and everything will be provided for you. So why can't you pay attention to the, to the needs of the people first before assuming office or why you assume office? That is why I really, really, really would like to make reference to, um, to the administration, the governorship administration of um, go, um, former governor of Lagos State, Raji Fashola. In fact, to me, to then, during his administration, he happens to be the best governor that in, that, in, that, in, the, in the two term period. He was the governor of Lagos State. Fashola, first of all, you know, he first of all dealt with residents in Lagos State. Having done that, he first of all checked the, 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 the weak, weak, weak residents because there are some residents that are very weak. So, to avoid any story that touched that, uh, that some buildings collapsed and killed some persons or do this and that. He first of all start checking the the weak the, uh, the weak buildings, the ones that can be renovated, the one that can be completely demolished and rebuilt. In fact, he started doing that. So when he discovered the ones that are that that need to be renovated, he called developers to renovate it. And when he discovered the ones that are completely that, that that need to be demolished completely maybe due to um the flood that do come to that area or probably if the house is built close to the river he demolishes it and rebuild it having done that he went on by um by walking on the roads i tell you you go and make your findings the most local area the most oldest and the most local area in Lagos State was tied, was interlocked. I am talking about places like Ajegule, Orile Gomu, Sari Gomu. Go to those places. You will marvel. You will be surprised that which governor did this kind of work. That is why I commended him. Places where Kekemarua or cars cannot be able to pass and not passing because of the well tied road by the governor there. So that is why when President Mobari gave him um, uh, four slots, eh? I wasn't for four, four portfolio. I wasn't surprised because I saw him to be very, very fit and, and, and okay to handle those four, four portfolios. Fachigaji Fashola is a multitasking governor. He's a governor that can do it right. He's a governor that can stand up and say, yes, this is what is worth doing and he will do it well. You understand? So that is one thing we, uh, uh, the governors of the states need to, need to pay attention to. You understand what I'm saying? So, my viewers, I think I've talked so much. Your own opinions are very, very important. Please do well to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.